Ashley with Plenty Whip Picnic and welcome back to another video. This is my third and last video of my vlog of my family vacation. First we went to New York and then we flew to Florida and went to Disney World and then did some like sightseeing and now we're driving up to South Carolina. We're doing a road trip for our last segment of our vacation. And I want to show you what I eat during this road trip. The food has been variable in Florida. A lot of times there aren't a lot of great vegan options, so I end up going to Chipotle a lot. And also a lot of there's a lot of burger places, so I end up getting a veggie burger because that's the only vegan option at burger places. But the food in Disneyland was pretty good also. So leave a comment down below with your guess of how many veggie burgers and how many times I end up eating Chipotle during this trip. It's a week long also. This morning for breakfast, I had my typical hotel oatmeal with some fruit and also I took out an orange as a snack to eat during the road trip. And then also on this trip, I filled this snack bag up with almonds and then it's kind of running out now, but I've been refilling it at the hotel breakfast with like nuts and fruit. I got a sobo noodle bowl with edamame and it has a veggie broth and it comes with a whole grain roll also. Yeah, these won't get very, very soft either. This is probably about as soft as these get, so maybe a different kind than you want. We just reached our destination, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. <laughs> what are you doing, Eric? <laughs> he wants to be in the We ate lunch at like 5 p.m. and now it's already 9 p.m. and now we're looking for some dinner. I'm not like super hungry, so I'm just gonna look for some small bites to eat. We're eating dinner at this little beach restaurant and I ordered a side of green beans because they didn't have anything vegan on the menu. And I think it's kind of cute how it comes in this little skillet. And I have a zero waste fail. I'm so used to the California restaurants not having any straws. And I'm really tired, so I forgot to ask for my water without a straw. And they just brought it to me with a straw. I just did a workout at the gym at the hotel we're staying at and I checked out the breakfast and everything it has styrofoam and plastic forks and spoons so I'm gonna have to empty out my container of compost so I can use this container for some oatmeal and I haven't come across a single compost bin on this whole vacation so I'll show you what I've been doing with my food scraps I'm just gonna put some of these orange peels in, in the bushes here I'm just covered up with some leaves, so it's kind of conspicuous. There we go, and it'll decompose. All four turtles right by the trash. This has been my typical breakfast in the hotels. Some oatmeal, fruit, and banana, and some walnuts. Second and third plastic straw I've picked up today. They definitely don't have a plastic straw van here, which is very sad because we're staying right on the beach. Last night I was really frustrated that I got a plastic straw in my drink, so I left a note on, a, on the receipt suggesting that they would only give plastic straws if they, if guests want a plastic straw. I'm really frustrated right now. My family always waits to like the last minute to eat and it's already 4 p.m. and I haven't eaten lunch so we went to a place to eat lunch and then it have anything vegan and everything came in styrofoam so I had to rush over to the grocery store to get something to eat and the only thing I could think of to eat was peanut butter and bananas is always my go-to when traveling because it has carbs and protein. Oops, I just spilled. <laughs> Just did a 
boat tour and saw some dolphins and I'm really hungry right now. I haven't really eaten anything since breakfast except for that banana and peanut butter. So I'm pretty hungry and we're gonna go get dinner now, hopefully. For dinner I got a burrito bowl with beans and brown rice, tomatoes, corn, and cilantro and lettuce. It's basically like Chipotle except it's with some mangoes also. I picked up just a few more straws while walking around town today. And I was thinking about going back to that restaurant I ate at yesterday to show them all the straws I found. And a lot of these look like the same straws they use in the restaurant. And maybe like talking with them about their straws. But I don't have, think I have time, so maybe I could just like email the city or something because this is just ridiculous. Hilton Head, South Carolina, and I'm eating breakfast in the car. I have my usual oats with um, a peach that we got the other day, and then banana and peanut butter. It's 4.40 p.m. right now, and I still haven't eaten lunch. We've spent the whole day driving around, and then we went to the national park, and I had some peanuts and an orange, but that's pretty much all I've eaten today since breakfast. So I'm pretty hungry right now, and I haven't gotten like a lot of sleep lately, because we've had like a lot of late, late nights and then early mornings. So I feel like I'm starting to get sick. We drove more inland in South Carolina today, and now we're visiting my mom's friend, and we're eating dinner at their house. They're making some pizzas. For a snack, I have some watermelon, tortilla chips, and homemade salsa. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. My pizza has zucchini, tomatoes, mushrooms, and tomato sauce. We've made a quick stop in Greenview, South Carolina. There's this really nice river walk. For a little snack, we went to a little taco shop and I got a taco with refried beans and cactus. And we're eating our snack in this park. It's a really nice park. It's kind of dark right now, but it's very romantic. We're in North Carolina now and we're gonna do some hiking on the Appalachian Mountains over there today. We're at the top of the mountain right now and I'm gonna eat a little snack. I have a peach and then some leftover whole grain bread and then I have a bag. I have a bag of mixed nuts. We're eating lunch at this restaurant at the top of the mountain. I got a veggie burger with a side salad.
It's 10 30 and we're just now eating dinner because we had a whole day of hiking and exploring and there weren't a lot of restaurants open at this site so we had to get um, some Chinese takeout and some and it was in a plastic container so I'm gonna reuse the plastic. Mm -hmm. I have some tofu and a broccoli. This is the trailer I slept in last night in the woods. For breakfast, I'm having oatmeal with slivered almonds, walnuts, bananas, and peanut butter banana toast, and an orange. We're eating lunch at Hardee's. It looks similar to Carl's Jr. It's like the only restaurant on this road. I got a taco salad with refried beans instead of meat, and I asked for no cheese. It's pretty basic. <laughs> this is kind of gross. So I thought Hardee's was just Carl's Jr. but with a different name. So I went up to the front and asked if they had a Beyond Burger and she didn't know what I was talking about. And the person that was taking our order, it was her first day. And then also my brother asked if they had stars and they didn't know what that was. So we had a kind of a complicated order. back in Tennessee and we stopped at this Mexican restaurant for dinner. I got vegetable fajitas and I thought this was it because this came really early and so I started eating that and then the waiter came with all this huge plate of vegetables and then some tortillas. This is gonna be a lot of food to eat at 9 30 p.m. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. and we finally made it to our hotel after all day of driving that mexican restaurant was really good and the portions were really big and it only cost nine dollars for all of that food and in disney world that would cost like twenty dollars for less of the food so i took out some some of the leftovers and i and i'm going to eat those tomorrow i'm eating my typical hotel oatmeal for breakfast and this is the first hotel that has blueberries and strawberries so i'm pretty excited about that lunch slash snack. I'm eating my leftovers in the hotel room before we leave. We just crossed the border into Alabama. This is our 10th and last state on this trip. We are back in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we're gonna eat at this Mexican restaurant called Moho Burrito, or Mojo. <laughs> I got the macho nachos with cashew cheese sauce. It also has some olives, tomatoes, lettuce, black beans, and salsa. This cashew cheese sauce is really creamy and really good. For breakfast, I got my typical oatmeal. I got some oatmeal with peanut butter, 
and strawberries and melon and sliced almonds and some chocolate. We are now in Atlanta, Georgia and our flight takes off later this afternoon. Right now we're just walking to the Olympic Park. Here, I want to take a picture. I'm eating a leftover tortilla and peanut butter for a snack. I got a side of broccoli in the Atlanta airport. For dinner, I got a burrito in the airport. It has bell peppers, corn, guacamole, rice, and beans. It is the next day now, and I'm back at home. And by my voice, you can probably tell that I'm still getting over my cold. It was a really fun trip, and I saw a lot of the side of the country that I've never been to. During the last segment of our road trip, we luckily did not have to go to any Chipotles, but I did end up going to a lot of Mexican restaurants because there weren't a whole lot of vegan options, and Mexican food is definitely a reliable source of protein for vegans because they always have beans. Then I ended up only having one veggie burger. Well, I'm excited to get back into my routine at home of exercising and eating a lot more greens and creating more recipe videos. If there's any other type of video you'd like me to make, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I almost forgot to mention that I saved all my compost scraps from this trip, and here I have some of the cardboard boxes that food came in, and those aren't gonna go like moldy, and they decompose slower, so I just saved that, and I'm gonna put that in my home compost. And then all of like the banana peels, orange peels, and food scraps like that, I just buried in bushes. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!